Oh, hey, what's up there? I didn't even notice you. I am so deep in this book, and this one has got to be one of my favorite books of 2021. Today, we are going to do a book review of Ryan Serhant's brand new book, Big Money Energy. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Jonathan here at The Jono Show, and not only do we do these tech reviews and podcasts and all this other stuff, but one of my favorite things is reading books. Reading books have absolutely changed my life, and they can change yours as well. And so I am excited to bring you this book review series that we've been doing. We've got a bunch of different books that I've reviewed, I've read, I've given you some of my notes on, and this one is a book that I am so excited on. It's a brand new book by Ryan Serhant. He does have another book that I gotta admit I haven't read yet, and so I'm definitely gonna go back and read that now because he's an incredibly engaging author. He's really funny and there's a lot of really, really cool stuff in here. So let's just jump right in. The book is about 200 and where are we at? 220, 230 pages. I like hardback books. As you know, if you've listened to any of these reviews at all, you know I'm a sucker for hardback books. This one has got a wonderful cover, really nice, like almost like leather. There's like an almost leather feel here. Um, really cool, very uh, fun, very, very fun cover. I think the green, the kind of neon that it has in it, really is a neat touch. I think a lot of books go like yellows and reds, and this with the dark blues, the light blues, the greens, really really fun this book by ryan serhant he is a million dollar listing new york he's a star of million dollar listing new york uh, he also is an author a realtor he has an incredibly cool engaging thought-provoking youtube channel he also has most recently authored this book the subtitle is how to rule it work dominate at life and make millions and it definitely does not disappoint the inside cover flap just kind of gives us a brief summary of the book and he does mention that he's changed some names just for, I think, probably the ambiguity of, of the people that he's talking about, because he does work with some very powerful people, including uh, the Dos Equis guy. So he talks about, you know, the, the most interesting man in the world. He is the most interesting man in the world. That guy introduces us by answering the question, what is big money energy? And it's this whole entire theme throughout the entire book, someone who just carries with them this, this passion and this palpable you know, feel that you get when you're around them. It's the way someone carries himself. It's conveyed in the way that they dress, the way they act, the way they talk, right? All these different things. And so he breaks some of these things down, but it's divided up into three different sections. I gotta be honest with you, I'm literally still in the last couple chapters because I am going a lot slower than I normally go with these books. Normally I just kind of go right through them. This one, I'm definitely taking my time. I also bought it on audiobook. They absolutely did not pay me to say any of this. I just have freaking loved this book. So I highly recommend you pick up a copy. Spoiler alert. Three different sections, like I said, big money and energy. Kind of fun, right? The title, the section big, three chapters, money, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four chapters there. Energy, nine through 13. What is that? Four chapters there. Divide it up pretty easily. He's talking about going bigger. He's talking about changing your mentality. And he tells a story about when he couldn't change anything else in his life, when he couldn't change anything else in his physical circumstances, the one thing he feels like he could change is his mentality. And I know if you're listening to this right now, I would bet you that the quickest thing you can change is your mentality. You know, it doesn't take a lot of money. You won't have to pay off a house, a car. You won't have to invest a lot of money. You won't have to do anything except deal with you yourself, the way that you think about things, the way your mindset goes, and you will have to make a decision how you wanna think, you know, do you wanna think positively? Do you wanna think negatively? And he goes and takes us through his journey from being really insecure, feeling not confident, really, really unconfident, all throughout his kind of beginning journey as he was an aspiring actor and as he you know, just started getting into real estate to now selling bigger and bigger and bigger deals. And he takes us through the mentality shift. The second chapter, be the future you right now. And I love that. I love that this there's this concept there of like, there's the present version of you and then there's the future version of you. And that future version of you is different. That future version of you is engaging and exciting and, you know, it has invested in things and is confident. And, you know, there's all these different things that I know that we imagine and we dream for ourselves, but 
it's that process of getting there that we struggle with. So be the future you right now. You know, how do you take on some of these feelings, emotions, habits, patterns in your life? Another funny story about how he sold an apartment to a very wealthy woman and, you know, he had to rent a car and use his Macy's credit card to buy a, buy a suit so that he looked the part. He basically started dressing, acting, thinking the part that he wanted to one day become. And that's, of course, where he is right now. Uh, amateur hour over is number three. Then he moves on to the next section, money. And I loved this one because it was full of really, really practical tactics that people I think can use. I think people, more people should be using. Uh, my favorite here is in chapter seven, the thousand minute rule. He talks about how we have approximately 1900 minutes, 900 of those were sleeping. We're left with about a thousand minutes. He talks about, you know, how you prioritize your time, how you prioritize using those thousand minutes really, really, really matters. And I love that. Like that's so easy to skip over. It's so easy to say, oh, I need to be doing this or I need to be doing that. When in fact, that's not the best way you could spend your time. There are other people who are more qualified to do it or there are other people who can do it while you should spend your time on something else. And I think this specifically applies to business owners, but you know, whether it is any, really anything in life, whether you are an employee, you're working with someone else, whether you're part of an organization, whether you're uh, you know, a college student, like understanding the value of your time and starting to value your time really, really will make a huge difference. The art of selective communication, uh, this is how you dominate people who earn more. He's just talking about the approach and how different people, the hacks I guess that people use who are successful exude this big money energy. The last part is energy. Chapter nine, evolve or die. 10, being self-made. 11, build your round table. 12, opportunity is always knocking. And 13, why not me? Which I think is the question that we all should be asking ourselves. Why not you? You, listen to this video right now. Why not you? Why can't you be a millionaire? Why can't you have a fancy car or have a big house or have all of the things that you dream? And it's gonna be different for each one of us, right? I'm just saying some things that might've popped up, but maybe it's having a wonderful relationship. Maybe it's having kids. Maybe it's having, you know, whatever it is in your life, why not you? Why does that have to be just reserved for someone else? And I think that's a question that I've seen many successful people ask themselves and I think it's a mindset that they adopt like if there are going to be successful people in life why not me why can't I be one of those people and then you go ahead and take the action necessary to accomplish that chapter five was also a fun one just talking about your attire your presentation this is something I've gone over so much with our team at common sense events just the the practicalness in here the humor and I will give you a little bit of a warning there is some swearing in there so if if that's something that it's a consideration for you just know that in advance going into it he definitely drops plenty of f-bombs and and all the other stuff so um something to know here but in all i would highly recommend this book this book is inspiring this book is challenging for me it was in some senses a light-hearted read but also you know really makes an incredible point the person that you want to be the person that you aspire to be is on the other side of i think a lot of mental hiccups and hitches, right? We get caught up on a lot of this negative self-talk that happens. And he's just talking about putting that aside and embracing our big money energy. And so I would highly recommend that you pick this book up. It's something that's inspired me. Like I said, I have it on audiobook and I will definitely be diving in more. I'll probably read it again as well because I really, really enjoy reading it. So yeah, if you like this book review and others, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our channel. We'd absolutely love you as part of our community. Hit that little alert bell as well because we do release these videos weekly and we're actually getting faster now. Uh, we're releasing multiple videos per week. I think we're at like three per week. The team is cranking. So um, we'd love for you to join us on that journey and we'll see you guys in the next video.